Alright, reveal I'm here. Time for another reveal. Now this is going to be pickup number 66. Um, yeah, I'm shooting this right after 65. All I pretty much did is just like move over two shelves and uh, just to give a different background. It's mainly yard sale pickups with the exception of this which was a, uh, a pawn shop pickup which was actually pretty good. Um, these were all picked up last Saturday um, which was what the second or something first maybe I don't remember. But um, yeah, got some pretty decent stuff. Not really the greatest day yard sailing, but overall, um, decent. Only got stuff at two yard sales, this kind of, or three yard sales, this kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll go to the, um, last thing I actually picked up of the day, um, or last yard sale thing I picked up of the day, which was, um, yeah, this PS2 game here. Um, they had it priced at $2. Um, I asked, would you do one? Um, this is the only game they had for some reason. I don't know why, but um, they didn't even have the system or anything, so I don't know why this was like the only thing there. But um, they took a dollar. I took it or whatever. Uh, Blitz the league. Um, complete, really good shape, with the exception of that sticker. Um, but a dollar, I'll take it. Whatever. All right, next up, uh, this was actually I guess I'll do in reverse order of how I actually picked it up. Uh, the second yard sale um, I went to had a actually had a posting on Craigslist um, PS2 games which when I got there I was actually surprised that the games were still there because that never happened for me but um, yeah they had some PS2 games they had um, a couple PS1 games and they had a whole bunch of PC games but I left most of them behind they only wanted 50 cents a piece for their games so I ended up getting uh, 10 games I believe it was yeah 10 games here 50 cents a piece not a bad price I mean some of these already had but I said I'd get them whatever 50 cents yeah, I got um, Tetris Plus. I believe this is like the fifth copy I've owned of Tetris Plus. But it is complete, not in the greatest shape. But um, 50 cents, I took it, whatever. Um, yeah, next up was a copy of, actually, a disc only copy of Frogger for uh, PS1. Um, 50 cents, I took it. But the thing that was interesting, though, was in a Spyro case. Actually, right, I took out the Spyro thing from it. But, um, 50 cents, I'll take it. I really enjoyed the um, newer Frogger games. I think they're actually pretty good. So, whatever. Um, this one's pretty um, cool, I guess. It only was fully complete. But uh, I got for the PC, the only PC game I picked up was Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Um, just to add to my Tony Hawk collection, I'm trying to get every version of every Tony Hawk game. So, uh, 50 cents, not bad. Um, but the thing that's the issue with this is that it comes with disc 1 and 2, and then it comes with disc 3, but no disc. Or if there was one, I don't know. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Fifty cents, I can't complain. All right, now on to the PS2 games. Um, yeah, this one I was gonna leave behind, but I got NCAA 2004, football 2004. I already own this game. However, it's completely in really good shape, and the re main reason that I bought it was because inside was a memory card, an official memory card, not with stickers all over. I don't know why there were stickers on it, but um, fifty cents for the game which I'm pretty much probably just gonna give to the uh, guy at the flea market and then for a memory card whatever um, and these games these next three games I didn't have these were 50 cents a piece got Dance Dance Revolution Max um, I believe this one is the only one that isn't complete yeah um, but what are you gonna do 50 cents then I got Corvette Evolution GT um, yeah this one's complete in like mint shape these next Five games here are in like mint shape. Uh, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. Um, happy to get this, but the thing that sucks about this is that I own uh, Sands of Time and Two Thrones on the Xbox, and this is the only one I have for PS2. So I'm gonna try to get this for the Xbox, but whatever. Fifty cents, I can't complain. And um, actually, before I get to the last game, I actually forgot to show this. Um, at the yard sale, they actually had uh, Ratchet and Clank um, that. But it wasn't, the game wasn't inside of it though. Um, it actually came with its manual, which is the main reason I got it, which I already put into this copy. But, um, into, this is my personal copy. But, um, yeah, there was no um, game inside, so I just said we'd just throw it in. So, yeah, that was cool. Got the manual for Ratchet and Clank for free and got a PS2 case and the outside the Ratchet and Clank, which I'll never use. The last games here that I got for 50 cents a piece were a decent deal. Um, got Grand Theft Auto 3, which I have three copies of right now. Um, 
What are you gonna do? This one's in like this one fantastic shape. It's like they never even played it. Um, I believe this is the one I'm gonna be selling though because my other copy is also in like mint shape and that's the original copy. While these are the reprints. Um, so yeah, I got uh, Vice City here for fifty cents. Um, Vice City. This one's in a lot better condition than mine, so I'm keeping this copy and I'm gonna be selling mine. Even though mine is uh, original, and this is a reprint, but whatever. This one's in better condition. And, um, yeah, this one I was happy to get for 50 cents because I can never find this game for some reason for a good price. And uh, that's San Andreas. I have it for the Xbox, but I wanted to get the PS2 version, so I'm happy to get that. Um, again, complete. I believe this one doesn't come with a map, though. Um, which that's kind of weird, actually, since all these were like they were never played. But actually, the San Andreas comes from. I think it will come from map, but whatever. 50 cents, not bad. Um, after that, this, actually this was the first thing I picked up, so I guess, um, before that, um, but, uh, I went to a yard sale, um, uh, the guy had a box full of games to decide, um, just asked him how much do you want for the games, he said two bucks a piece, um, some of the games are crap, so I left those behind, but I did pick up six games here, offered him eight for the six, and he took it, so, I was like, whatever. Um, so what it ended up being like a dollar thirty or dollar something, I don't know. But um yeah, pretty good price. Uh I got Lethal Sky complete. Nothing special, but I didn't have it, so got that. And then um got Star Wars the Clone Wars. This one's in like brand new shape. Uh and Star Wars Bounty Hunter, which I hear a lot of good things about this game. Never actually given it a try for myself, but uh yeah, they'll definitely give this a try sometime. And 3DS games, or 3DS games, not 3DS games, but, um, yeah, pretty good deal, I guess. I mean, these first two aren't that great, but, um, Madden 2005, and, um, yeah, that's, yeah, these are all complete, um, uh, what is it, World Championship Poker Deluxe Series, which is the Crave game, so it adds to my, uh, Crave collection, I'm trying to get every game published by Crave. And this last one I was pretty happy about, and that's Pokemon Diamond. Um, this one's actually not in here right now, yeah. Because I'm, it's actually in my 3DS, because I've been playing the shit out of this. Uh, I've been playing this, I believe I'm like nine hours into the game already, and it's only been like a couple days. Um, just in love with this game. I mean, it's Pokemon, I love Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon for, let's just say, a long time. Uh, that's why I played with Emerald, and, um, or like the newest one I played with Emerald. And, um... Yeah, happy to get a newer Pokemon game to play because they're still pretty fun. I mean, even when you're grown up, like, they're pretty much just basic RPGs and they're still pretty enjoyable. Alright, and last but not least, a uh, pretty good pawn shop pickup. This is from a pawn shop I haven't been to since, like, September of 2011. Uh, because I remember that because the only games I picked up uh, during that month were from uh, this pawn shop. Or at least the only things that I kept uh, during that month were from that pawn shop. But, um, yeah, I went back, finally, it's in a, it's in an area that's a pain in the ass to get to, it's like right off the exit of a highway and stuff like that, I don't know why they put it there, that's a terrible location, but, um, yeah, the pawn shop has some pretty good prices, uh, last time I was there, they wanted 4 for 10 for the PS2 games, this time when I was there, they wanted 5 for 10, so, 2 bucks a piece again, it's like I'm paying $2 a piece for almost everything now, um, but, yeah, 2 bucks a piece, not bad, for some of these titles. Um, first one, this is the least expensive one, uh, Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. Uh, complete, just picked it up because I needed another game. Not really interested in this game, but whatever, add to the collection. This one, I'm not interested in playing at all, but uh, it's like a $10, $15 game, so I had to get it for 2 bucks. And that's Namco Museum, uh, 50th Anniversary. I have this for the GameCube, like, yeah, right here. Um, but, yeah, happy to get the Xbox version. Um, it's complete, pretty good shape, um, two bucks not bad. Then, um, these next three I'm pretty excited about, got, uh, Tekken 5, big fan of Tekken, however, I don't have many Tekken games, uh, they seem to be more expensive than what I'm willing to pay whenever I see them, however, I do, I have, like, Tag Tournament and Tekken 3, but, I have to get Tekken 5, um, great game, I actually already played this, um, fantastic game, I absolutely love it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, the disc is actually great hit, which kind of sucks, but. Um, other than that, actually, I was about to say in good shape, but actually it's not in good shape, actually. Um, stickers all over it, like, 
Um, yeah, it looks like someone spilled coffee on it or something, but too boxed out, I wasn't going to complain. And then these next two games are actually pretty expensive games. Um, I mean, the last one is. This first one, not really so much. I mean, it's like a $15 game. And that is The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. Um, just a movie license game, but it's actually, um, you know, the belts are published by Capcom. So, uh, that's pretty interesting. It's complete. Um, just need to get the stickers off and it'll be in good shape. Um, yeah, pretty interested in playing this actually because it is a Capcom title, so it can't be that bad, can it? Um, and, uh, this last game here, I was so excited to see. This is a game I've been wanting for years now. Um, however, never found it, and it's a pretty expensive game for the PS2, and it's a pretty rare game for the PS2. Like, it goes for $30, $40, um, and I'm definitely not willing to pay that, um, but so happy to find this for $2. It was, it was like a steal, and, um, that is Obscure, um, which is Obscure Game itself. Uh, I don't remember too much about the gameplay, but I remember that, like, this game was supposed to be pretty much like a, a cheesy horror film, and, uh, it just always looked interesting, and, uh, so happy to get this. Again, two bucks. It's a steal. Um, so happy to have this game. Definitely gonna be playing this soon. So, uh, yeah, that is everything I picked up for pickups number 66. Now about to, uh, shoot number 67, which I have a bag of stuff on the floor, so stay tuned for that, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.